You know, one of the things that being online allows you to do is to experiment with different identities that are disposable but and that are virtual. And then I also thought that to the degree that childhood is being extended and may be interfered with, especially at the early stages when pretend play should be occurring and there's so much screen time, that experimentation with identity, which is a form of play, might be being extended out into adolescence and further on. So you get virtualization and the extension of fantasy play. It's not surprising to me that iGen young people would be, what would you describe it as, uh, very open in relationship to their proclaimed identity, especially also if they're earning attention points for announcing a non-standard identity and also having no other identity to replace it with in some real sense. Well, it's a strange individualism, though, because it's, it's based, again, on what you might describe as maximization of short-term identity. It's sort of the claim is, I can be whoever I want, and all, all social regulation of that is nothing but an imposition, which is really not true at all, because most of the time, following social principles allows you to form relationships with other people and opens up horizons of opportunity to you. That's, that's the benefit of sacrificing not exactly individuality, but short-term individual whim. And it's something that children learn as they mature, right? They can't get everything they want right now, but the payoff for that is that they can get along with other people and that things work better over the long run. And that all, that, that I would say, understanding that and then abiding by that principle of medium to long-term well-being is something like maturation. And this individualism that you're describing isn't really, I don't think it's really, it's not an enlightened individualism because it's too short term. It's more like, well, I am whatever I feel I am right at this moment. And to me, that smacks of, well, nothing more than in some real sense, like a two-year-old immaturity. And I mean that technically because two-year-olds are very whim-oriented, very, very short term.